Hi guys, so we're making videos about CWM. We've just built the ISO CWM ourselves. So there was something missing in here. In the Adaclinix B website, we have a list of all our desktops and not all the desktops, but also XL, XS, so all the ISOs basically. If you refresh, and um, let me pause the video here and put my, well, delete my cache basically of the website, you'll see the new article already. There you go, cache is gone, article is there. Build your own ISO, Atlantis B CWM has just been uh, built basically, and we're gonna try it out. So we made some decisions, and in the meantime, I've changed it to everything. Article CWM is the correct URL. The video that I just created will be uploaded and put in here. And the last thing is try it out. How to install the Adlux B ISO and, and try it. our personal personalized Adlux B CWM ISO. That's what we're gonna do now. So I'll build it. Now I wanna test it. So Super F7, virtual box is there ready for you. This is the ALB CWM, the, the original one, ours. So now the personal personalized one, so Adaclinx B CWM personalized or something, right? Next, clone. Optical drive, where can I find it? On my home, Adaclinx B out. This is mine, just created. Look at the time here, four minutes ago. All right, what did we do? We selected some things. We added GIMP to the list. We poof, I should take a look at the video, right? Because I don't know. Now, installation will always change over time. We get smarter and smarter, get responses from people, say, look, Eric, um, it's fine, but it can't, my, and my hardware combination can't have Nouveau and Nvidia. So we made these options for you. Basically, to keep it simple, try and see what works on each separate laptop or desktop, because it's all different hardware. And you, you need to figure out, is this, does it have an NVIDIA? Does it have an AMD? It's all about choices. So we give you five of them. Try out, test out, try out. But remember already, some of the things, uh, some of the machines out there don't like Nouveau to be there. So just NVIDIA then. And other machines don't like that SEM is in control. So switch to Lightium. So super simple text inside TTY to LightDM. Just concatenate behind each other, no space, to LightDM. And you run LightDM, that easy. So let's wait for the pop-up. There you go, fine, thank you. All right, we've booted up. So the welcome screen gives you choices. You're living in South America, Northern America, China, Japan, right? Arch Linux mirrors all global. So if you want to have the fastest mirror, you can run this thing. But nevertheless, the thing you have already might be great already. So give it a try. And mirror list is certainly a nice alias to remember. This is the computer, the server that will provide all of the packages coming from Arch Linux, right? Not Echo, Arch Linux. And it's normally a good server. So Super Q or Super A, no, Super Q kills this. Maybe you wanna clean things. This is like a blackboard and you've written partition of SUSE here and another partition of Windows there, another partition of this and that and that. It's always a good thing to clean things up and you can select any of these partitions that are there and say, remove it and apply it. And then you have a look like this. You have, again, something that's really, really clean, just like it would come out of the shop. So that's that, clean up. And then it's a decision, right? Goes from top to bottom. Either you go for the beginner installation. If you are really, really new to Linux, that's the way to do it, beginner installation. Try to learn these steps already and the steps, the advanced steps will follow later and all the information about the project, right? Frankly, right, I use always beginner installation. You might be surprised. I always choose beginner installation. 
afterwards you can do whatever you have whatever you want i mean pseudo pacman minus s boom it's there yay minus s it's there it's just running some scripts afterwards and everything is themed and tweaked the way you like adding applications removing applications it's entirely up to you put it in a script run it so beginner installation is, is recommended certainly if you're very new to linux and it gives you less choices these are the normal choices that people get in distributions what's your language okay set the language cool this is always for reference that i do when i see the videos okay that was calamars version x next brussels correct so europe fine system language numbers and locale okay all good or change next this is very important for me keyboard azerti qwerty next and this is the only technical thing that's left decide the file system x4 is great decide whether you want to hibernate or not that's probably the best thing to decide hibernating means that you have the ability the ability or the functionality that every application stays open you can shut down the computer hibernate the computer not really shut down right and when you boot up everything comes from the hard disk you can to the memory and you are everything is still open from last night right every application is there available so that's options and these are the options in a uh, virtual box with eight gigabyte of ram i don't need any swap at all next now let's install so that's out of the way let's move to desktop number two here super shift d is gimp installed yep i decided to put gimp on the iso this is a personalized iso i can do that um did we install atom i'm not sure atom we installed atom and there were others that we decided i think chromium is one of them so let him do his job um chromium there he is chromium is there he wants key rings and all that blah 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 okay bye and that's chromium for you super q super q you need to know some keyboard uh, training here but here it is right super shift d main menu this thing what else alt f2 alt menu alt f2 oh okay alt f3 alt menu alt f3 Ooh, i recognize this this is xfce right we've given you something to hold on to um, because if you don't know the name super shift d then there's a lot of stuff <laughs> i'm using my arrow key to the right right if it starts with an a you already have something and a b maybe and a c and there is nothing called abc right but let's do an exercise in firefox f i r there you have it by the way try use caca fire always fun <laughs> it's for the cold winter days okay super cube it's gone again so yes we've selected more things we've put stuff on our iso that will be on our future system so if this is all unsquashed gimp is on my system and atom is on my system and anything you've put on there and the only thing you can put on your iso that's the most important thing to remember is oops everything that you can do sudo pacman minus s all of this you can put online let's start with a for example how many a's are there no e's a's b's no <laughs> i had had hoped i would see a long list of uh, names but i guess that's not gonna be in the video but i mean pamac right any of these packages oops any of these packages here's pamac any of these guys um will can be installed but not the ones from aor that's not possible the packages of, of aor are not packages they're recipes they're, nothing has been built yet you need to build it first so anything you can do with uh, sudo pacman minus s 
you can add it to the package list it will be on the ISO in Qtfish we've put um, uh, steam in there it's just decision time at that point then you build the ISO then you test the ISO and this is our testing of the ISO Inkscape we did not install it we've got it no problem right sudo pacman minus s Inkscape and you've got it so that's basically what I do also after every clean installation I have the script Control alt f I'm pressing now waiting for Firefox to come up you create an account on github gitlab whatever right then you sign in and create something equivalent right doesn't need to be exactly the same thing just copy paste what I have and see what you like and remove what you don't like Arco Linux Nemesis is what I run after every clean installation and this is super F super F is gonna go for full screen and this is me pressing control and scrolling so I have these things that I run core software software from AOR some extra icons I want and then the personal stuff all of these things will be well not all but I'll decide what I'll uh, run and you see it's always maintained seven days ago I always keep track of all the latest changes so after a clean installation of any article Linux I'll run my scripts and I suggest you do the same to become in control of your operating system just an idea so in the meantime with all these ideas and what ifs is it ready it is ready I done And you, ex you boot into the existing OS, not into the ISO anymore. And there we are. How to start, quit. And then you take a look around. Um, so we already saw that GIMP is there. So the question is, is GIMP there? Super F4, I think it is. And there it is. Now when I press Super F3 on my Excel machine, right? Something should happen. So sudo pacman minus s Inkscape is normally ready for me to create icons on there. Super F3. And there we are. There is a new change. So take a look at all the options we have now. Colorful, grayscale, compact, small screen, system default. I have no preference. Uh, just choose and that'll be fine. There you go. You have these icons that are now a little bit different. All right. So that's Inkscape. Quit. Sort of an InDesign kind of thing. No, is it InDesign? Well, GIMP is Photoshop and Inkscape is InDesign. I know it's a little bit, uh, I don't know, not, it's not black, white, but more or less. So, Atom. Super F1, is that Atom? not sure depends what we put behind the keyboard shortcuts you can change the keyboard shortcuts again right it's entirely themable and tweakable i don't think it's gonna be atom behind there maybe it's sublime text f12 pseudo pacman minus s sublime text that's not my password no my fingers were not positioned right Super F1, what's behind Super F1? Ah, that's Firefox Super F1. Super F2 is what I meant to type. Or oh, Vivaldi, Vivaldi. Okay, Super F2 is Atom. Then Super F1 is not doing anything because, ah, because it should launch something else. Here it says Ctrl V, Vivaldi, right? Ctrl V, it's not doing anything. Why? Because it's up to you. To install it. The B's are always minimal. We've given you one browser, Firefox, and all the rest. If you want Vivaldi and you want to play the videos on Netflix and you want to play the videos in YouTube, get them all. And this is for the last one is for Netflix. It's all about it's all about knowledge, and then the fun can start. F12, remember the drop down. I always like it. If, if, I'm, if, if it's not there, I, I really miss it. 
So this is me pressing Super F1. Vivaldi is there. And then it continues and you continue to explore, of course, your desktop. Here I'm going to end 15 minutes time. So that's our personalized built Arcalix B CWM. And you can do anything with it. You can add more stuff, remove more stuff. Some people don't like variety. Other people love variety. It's entirely up to you. Maybe let's finish with that one. Pseudo Pacman minus had a discussion on the Facebook wall. A communication, I mean, discussion is sounds so so harsh. It wasn't. So variety, if you don't like variety, remove variety. There is also an Arcanalix variety configuration. I'll remove that one as well. Okay, gone. You'll never see variety again, which is a pity because it's a very, very interesting tool. And the thing that's in here, that's a manual remove. I will not go into your personal folder, the .config folder of you on your home directory and delete anything. So delete it manually. All right, variety is gone. Will never be there anymore. This thing is there, void. It's gone. Quit. All right. Enjoy Arcanix. Enjoy the freedom, and uh, start building. Cheers.